Hello everybody and welcome to another awesome Heyday video. My name is Jennifer and here on YouTube I go by Gizmo Spike. Well, you guys, the update is here. As you can see on the screen, it says it's a big day. The valley is here. Yay. So, I am over here on one of my baby farms, my level 31. I have not gone into the valley over here on this farm. So we're going to go in and I'm just going to do a quick little tutorial to show all you guys the basics on how to play inside the valley. I know that I've been getting a bunch of you guys saying that it's a little bit confusing or you don't understand it. So hopefully... Um, I can show you guys what to do and make you understand it a little bit better. And um, if this does not answer all of your questions, feel free to leave a comment below and I will answer your questions. And I can also even um, make another video later on um, on something specific that you guys might have questions on. So let's tap on Mr. Wickers, the Scarecrow. And Valley Trial Run. The trial season is here to ensure everything runs smoothly for Valley Season 1. Exclusive rewards are not part of the trial season, but you will find them in Season 1. So this is not the official first season. This is a little trial run. It's much shorter. It's only just over two days. Um, it's to let us all get used to the valley and they can work out all of the kinks and all of that kind of stuff. So this way when the real season comes, we will be able to jump right in and know exactly what we're doing and play it um, in the best way possible. So I'm gonna click on play trial and I'm going to tap the sign to start. And I have entered the valley and the first thing that pops up there is four chickens have been collected by um, other people. The chickens are actually pretty important and I will get to those in a moment. So the first thing you want to do upon entering the valley, the number one thing is spin the fuel wheel. So I'm going to click on the fuel wheel and give it a spin and I'm going to hope for the highest number which is nine. So let's see what I get. Okay, I got eight, so pretty good. So I'm gonna collect my fuel. So now I have eight fuel, which allows me basically to move um, eight spots, sort of, and I'll show that to you guys in a moment. Now, as you can see, there's a little tab here on the side that is flashing. We do have other ways of earning more fuel. You're probably thinking to yourself, oh my God, that's it, eight? Eight per day and I can't spin anymore? No, that is not true. You can spin again by doing some actions. So I'm gonna click on this little flashing sun here and it's going to give me a few things that I can do to earn myself some more fuel spins. So I'm gonna earn some little sun tokens that will fill up this meter here on the screen. And when the meter is filled, it will allow me to spin another wheel for more fuel. So for every three sugar cane that I plant, I will earn one sun token. For every fishing lore that I produce, I will earn eight sun tokens, and for every two cows that I feed, I will also earn one sun token. So if I go and do these actions, then I can earn a bunch more of the sun tokens to get more fuel spins. And planting sugarcane is pretty easy. Yes, I'll have to wait for it to grow, but that's only, that's less than a half an hour. So that's not so bad. And I'll get one sun token for every three that I plant. All right. So that's fuel. So what can you do with the fuel? Well, here's my truck. 
and your truck is going to be indicated on your screen in red. Red is your truck. The, um, the orange markers are strangers' trucks, and the green ones are people within your neighborhood so like this green one right there. So that is somebody within my neighborhood. That is their truck there under the clouds. Now, the game board in the valley here is very, very large. All of this stuff that is covered by clouds, that is part of the game board. As you move closer to the section of clouds, they will basically part to reveal more of the game board for you. So, let's make a move here. I'm gonna click on the cinema, and if I drive over to the cinema using one fuel, so I'm going from this spot to one spot, and it's using one fuel spot, I will give them one cherry, and I will receive, in return, 26 blue tokens and 10 of the red tokens. So, now, you can only store a certain amount of tokens. So, as you are going from building to building and giving these goods, you do wanna make sure and keep an eye on the amount of tokens that you have there at the top of the screen. I've not started yet, so I don't really have to worry about that because um, I'm at zero right now, so um, I don't have to worry about getting full because I have nothing. But you do want to keep an eye on that because once you have gotten a thousand tokens total, you will not be able to collect any more. So you're just going to basically be um, wasting your fuel and completing things and not actually getting any rewards in return. So make sure you do keep an eye on that. And when you get full or when you get close to full, you can then jump on and hit the cash register here at the top, go on into the Valley Shop, and you have lots of stuff that you can choose from to purchase here. So you can redeem 85 blue tokens, 80 red, and 85 green to get yourself a steak, or 40 blue, 45 red, and 40 green to get yourself a dynamite. Um, you can only purchase one of these items once. So this section here on the top that says it unlocks in 13 hours and 52 minutes, it's not actually ready for me to purchase anything from it. So that's okay because I don't have any tokens yet anyway. So I basically want to spend, you know, some time over the next 14 hours to earn myself some tokens so that I can redeem those for these items in here. Now there is a second part of the shop and this is where those chickens come into play that we talked about earlier. In your daily travels around the valley, you are going to encounter chickens on the road. Uh, to collect those, basically you're just going to drive to them and you're going to, as soon as you tap on that spot, you're going to collect that chicken and it is going to contribute to the group's total. So um, it's not a competition for the chickens. Whoever, it doesn't matter who finds them, whoever finds them, they're still going into this big pool of chickens and once you get 50, that's when this special shop will unlock and it will unlock when the season is over. So you'll see here for me, uh, one of the choices is permits, three permits. One of them is a cool Valentine's wagon decoration and five puzzle pieces unfortunately is not available to me because I am not a high enough level to unlock the puzzle pieces. So remember though, important, this does not unlock unless you've gotten all 50 of those chickens. So make sure you do try and do enough actions to get yourself some fuel to complete the tasks that will, um, you can find some chickens in the game board. All right, I'm going to X out of this and there is another little section in here too. And you guys can see the little arrow pointing on the right hand corner. It looks like a little calendar. I'm going to click on that, and these are daily quests. These will reset every day when the season is active. So right now I have just under 24 hours because it actually just reset not that long ago. So 
I can earn spots along this little road here on the top that you see by doing the actions that are on here. So if I collect 30 red tokens, I will move a spot. If I complete three auto requests on the game board, I will um, be able to move a spot. If I visit one diner, I'll be able to move a spot. And if I collect 30 green tokens, I will be able to move a spot. So make sure you also pay attention to these um, on a daily basis so that you can earn these mystery boxes. So more ways of earning more stuff. How can it get much better than that? All right. So you see your neighbors and other players around the map to collect chickens with others to gain access to an exclusive section in the shop. Mr. Wickers, I just told everybody about that. You're a little bit late there, buddy. <laughs> and now he's pointing to the cash register. Apparently, I skipped around on the tutorial, so sorry, Mr. Wickers. If you need more details, tap the info button. Now start driving and have fun on your new journey. All right. So those are the basic sections within the valley that explain how to get fuel, um, how to get more fuel, uh, your daily quests and where your tokens are in the shop. If anybody has any further questions about any of that, make sure you leave, um, feel free to comment in the comment section below. You, you're more than welcome to um, ask me anything and I will try my best to answer your question. So let's use up some fuel and let's do some orders. So, Let's go to the cinema. Now, um, it does not matter that there's already a truck there. Uh, there can be multiple trucks at the same spot. So I'm going to click on the little one, and it's going to have me drive there. So now I drive. I drove there. And unfortunately, it looks like I got there, and whoops, I don't actually have any cherries to give to the cinema. But fear not, because you know what? It's okay because I can hit the home button, go back to my farm, and let's see. Well, first of all, do I have any cherry trees? I do not. So I am going to actually sell myself um, a couple of cherries from my main farm. I do have multiple farms for those of you guys who watched me. This is my main farm, my level 181. So I'm just gonna sneak on over to there and sell myself well my silo is full <laughs> so let's just go put down that and let's try that again take two everybody all right so we went and got those five cherries and now as i said fear not once we click on the valley board to go back in and i click on the cinema as long as it hasn't expired you it was it will still be there so I'm going to complete and I have completed it and I have received 26 blue tokens and 10 red ones. And now that I've completed that task or that request, I should say, um, a new request will come soon in three hours and 59 minutes. So let's see where we should go to next. I have seven fuel left without uh, going and earning myself more fuel. So let's click on this little yellow house here and see what it wants. So it'll take me three spots to get there. And I just need to sell it one bacon. So I am going to, if I drive up this way, then it's going to unlock more clouds up in this section. So you know what? Let's do it. So let's drive up. Mm. All right. I need these goods. Could you please sell me some? So I'm going to hit the little complete button and I got some more tokens and I completed one of my daily requests. So I collected 30 green tokens. So now you see the little road up here on the top, a piece of it has turned blue. So if I complete just one more of these quests, I will get to open up that first mystery box. All right, so let's click over here and I need two gas or two fuel in order to get to that spot. So as you can see, there's one spot here with the yellow and one spot with the, with the blue. So let's click there and I'm gonna drive there. I sure hope I have some corn. 
Yeah, I do, and I'm going to complete that task. And by doing that, I completed another daily quest, which got me the complete three times order request. So you guys, now I can open up this first mystery box. And I got a saw out of it. So, wasn't that easy? I think this is very, very simple. Um, I like that it's not super hard. It's not asking for, you know, 25 honey popcorn. Well, first of all, I don't have that on this level anyway. But I do like that it's not asking for that. So I have two fuel left. So let's click on this little brown cap with the green door and see what they would like. So I need these goods. All right, so it's going to be one space. And I'm going to complete it. So now I have completed another daily quest, you guys. So I've gotten 30 red tokens. So the last one I have to do is to visit a diner, which means I'm going to have to now find that on the board, but that's okay. I will get to it, I am sure. So now I only have one fuel spot left. Unfortunately, I could go back to here, but there's no order there. So I'm just going to stay here for now. And then hopefully in three hours and 59 minutes, when that order is back up, maybe it's something that I can do. Or if I really want to, I can also go back in and complete. I can plant some sugar cane. I can produce some fishing lures and I can feed some of my cows. And I'll probably go do that um, on my own after I'm done making this video. So one more important thing that I'd like to cover before I end off here on this video, if I can find one, I can. A couple of you guys have asked me about what are group requests? I have to fulfill a group request as part of my daily quests. Well, do you see this chicken here? It looks like it's screaming and it's got some exclamation marks coming out. Well, this indicates a daily, a group request spot. So unfortunately, I can't see it because there are a lot of clouds there. But basically what it will be, it will be a building. And when you get to that building, you will have to contribute. And it's going to ask for five people to sell it. 10 raspberries or something like that. So you are going to sell 10 raspberries and one of your neighbors is going to sell 10 raspberries and a couple of strangers are going to sell 10 raspberries. Once that has been done, you will then get a chicken that's going to get added to your total up here to unlock the exclusive shop. So you guys, so far I am really, really liking the valley. Um, it basically seems like a big fun board game that I like. Um, the fuel, yes, it kind of stinks, you guys, because we need fuel in order to play it. But it seems like it's not too difficult to do some of the extra things to earn more spins. So let me know if you guys have played it yet. Let me know if this is the first time you guys have seen of the Valley. Um, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you think it's too easy, think it's too hard, hate the fuel system, love the fuel system, don't really care. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts. I'd love to hear your questions. Um, please let me know if there's anything that you would like me to cover about the Valley in a future video. And remember that if you are not already subscribed to my channel, it is free to subscribe to a channel on YouTube, but it will make me very, very happy. So go ahead and hit that beautiful red subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Happy farming. Weeding is life. Peace. It's hey day. It's hey day. It's hey.